Hi everyone and welcome back. I'm reminded of the story of the prodigal son and I'm sure we, we all know it. Here is the father that has two sons and uh, the younger one takes his inheritance and runs off and spends it on wine, women and song and loses everything. And then finally he comes to a place of repentance and he returns to the father. And uh, the Bible tells us that the father saw him from a long way off. And so that gives me a, a picture that the father was looking for him. Knowing that the son had rebelled, knowing that the son had made all the wrong decisions, taken his life into his own hands, was losing all that money and all that inheritance, the father was looking for the son to return. And you see, that encourages me because it's never too late. It's never too late. We don't know the age of that young son. We don't know how many years uh, that he had been out in the world. He may not have been that young when he returned. But it's never too late. And we can go through scriptures. And uh, time and time again, we see great men of God who have fallen into sin, who have disobeyed God. And yet God has always opened a door for them through His grace always enable them to come to a place of repentance because that is God's heart for each and every one of us. So we can maybe find ourselves quite far down the road, quite far from God in our lifestyle. And we can struggle because our flesh is strong and our will is strong. But it's never too late. You know, one day I had the opportunity of leading a man. He was 90 years old. And I led him to the Lord and we baptized him in water. In fact, it was the first time I'd ever baptized somebody and I think I nearly drowned the guy. But anyway, uh, he said to me afterwards, you know, I've wasted, wasted 90 years. And I said to him, well, God's always on time. It's never too late. The thief at the cross who repented and Jesus said, this day you will be with me in paradise. That last minute before he lost his last breath, it's never too late. And I think that's a wonderful door of encouragement for every one of us today. That we can never put ourselves in a place where I've made my decision, I've made my choice, I've gone so far down the road and there's no, I've gone beyond the place of return. No. God's grace is there for you. The door of repentance is there for you. It's never too late. Come home, come back, put things clear and let God intervene in your life. You'll be amazed at what God can do even in this late hour. May the Lord help you. God bless.